There's a cool article I just read on Yahoo. Well, earlier I read it, and I'm rereading it now. They did a study on chocolate and people that crave chocolate as opposed to people that don't crave chocolate. And the people that crave chocolate in this, in this study had different types of bacteria in their system, in their intestines and stomach, in their gut, they refer to it as. Then it goes on and explains that these bacteria, they don't know exactly if the bacteria cause craving, that if the bacteria causes craving or if early in people's lives diets change the bacteria types that we have in our system. I believe that this, the bacteria that we have in our system is there because it relates to the food that was put into the system and that it craves more of that and that we can at any time flush out our system with water and time. It says that when people lose weight that the bacteria in their system changes and other types appear and then I think that we can flush out our system by drinking water and, and then eat other types of food and introduce new types of bacteria into our system which crave those types of food like fruit. So if you're eating salt and, and carbs a lot, your body is going to have bacteria in it that crave that kind of thing because it's being put there. It's there for a reason to break down what you're ingesting. So flush it with the water and then introduce something new like fruits and vegetables. I was eating fruits and vegetables and I've noticed that my body started to crave it. I was craving a plum very intensely. I'll post a link to it. Also, I don't like the word haters. I think the word haters implies when people call someone a hater that they're implying that, that person has hate or that it creates hate. When someone's labeled a hater then they get they may be like I'm not a hater, but then it's going to subconsciously when we label someone that we're going to perceive them to hate, they're going to hate more. I don't like the word. I may have used it in the past once or twice, but I've particularly consciously avoided using it because it's a terrible label. Nobody's a hater all the people are essentially the same thing and we have our pasts to discuss and bring to the table and our perceptions interesting article I'll put a link up